guys, welcome back. I'm gonna get ready right now because we are actually gonna go to Home Goods again. I do have a haul for Home Goods as well today. Just do my under eye color correcting and all of that. And we're gonna use my new makeup brushes, which if you missed my last video, I did come out with an entire makeup brush collection. It's 12 total face brushes. They're seriously the softest and prettiest makeup brushes. My favorite brush is the concealer brush. This one right here, it's actually labeled as a blush brush. A lot of you that purchase my makeup brushes agree that this is your favorite brush as well. Like look how flawlessly that blends out my concealer. And it's a really good multi-purpose brush as well. We are turning another rental into a furnished rental and I'm so excited. The funnest part for me is getting to try out different styles of home decor that I wouldn't necessarily do here in my home. I'm going in with my foundation brush from my brush set, which is such a good foundation brush. Like the bristles are so dense, but so soft and it just blends everything in so seamlessly. There's a nice glow. I'm actually gonna put a little bit of concealer like around my nose because I really need it. And then I'm gonna go in with a highlighting concealer, which is also from Dior. I don't even think I'm gonna use foundation today. Which one should I use? I think I'm gonna do this one today. This one is labeled as a powder brush, but this is actually my favorite one to use for blush. Cause you can just tap, tap, tap. Ooh, that is so pretty. I love that. That color is stunning. I'm using the bronzer from Dibs from number three. This is actually the perfect bronzy color for my skin. And for bronzer, I love the angled brush from my brush collection. The bristles are perfect to blend out cream bronzer and powder bronzer. And I do have six total like eye brushes that come in my brush collection, but I feel like they're all multi-purpose. Like this is the flat shader brush, but this one is really great for contour as well to like blend out your cream contour. I also got a lot of questions if the makeup case is included with my brush set, and it is. If you guys have not seen these makeup cases online, they typically run from like $20 to $30. So the fact that the entire set comes with 12 brushes plus a makeup case, it's just such a good deal. I'm using the angled liner brush from my collection, which just makes application so easy. I have tried all the makeup brushes, you guys, from like drugstore to high-end, like top four makeup brushes. I've bought $50 how much was my Tom Ford brush? I want to say it was like more than $50. I bought really expensive makeup brush. So when I tell you the quality of these brushes is so good. Like you guys will absolutely love them. This is the big blending brush. This one is so good for so many different things. Like you could use it for finishing powders with bronzer and it just fits your face so perfectly. If you're already using makeup brushes, like why not have like the most gorgeous makeup brushes that just bring a smile to your face when you're doing your makeup? Like I just love having them in front of me and looking at them, they just make me so happy. I will list all of the makeup that I use down below with the names and everything. I'm gonna line my lips with this Dibs lip liner in medium. Ooh, that is so pretty. Oh, I think the only brush that you guys didn't see me use, the only face brush is this one, which is a little bit longer. So if you needed to like dust powder underneath your eyes, like look, look at how perfect that is. It is a little bit bigger than the concealer brush. So you can see the difference right there. This is my concealer brush and this is a powder brush. I know so many of you guys were bummed that you missed my discount code when we first launched these, but I do have a new code for you guys to get 20% off. It's just um, Missless Heart. And I'm in the middle of editing this video and I just got news that my brushes are part of the spring sale, so you can actually save 30% off of the entire set. I think the code is SPRING30. Um, so yeah, such a good deal. I'll have details below for you guys. Thank you in advance to those of you that decide to purchase. Oh, let me show you guys what I got from Home Goods so far. So on this side, I put everything that I got for the rental like we found this table this wooden table which was so nice like the quality is so good um also you guys remember these um salt and pepper grinders that i found for the other house i found them in the crushed red pepper i'm still searching for the pepper and salt but i feel like they just make such a good statement piece in the kitchen i also got more of these dishwashing soaps i love these because you can refill them and they just add a lot of character to the kitchen so i got two of those also i found these little dish um you could just put these like throughout the house in the sink area for like your jewelry and it just 
adds a nice little touch. And how stunning are these faces? I thought this was something that you could find at like Anthropology, and the price was so good. Like this one was $30 for the large size, and then the smaller size was $19.99. I thought this bowl was so beautiful for like a coffee table or even the dining table. Also got a cutting board because every kitchen needs a cutting board and this one is so pretty. And then on this side are the items that I found for myself that I just could not pass up. So over here we have these gorgeous drinking glasses. Like look how pretty. So it's like a flower shape and these were $4.99. Also, I was so excited about these bowls right here. So originally I was buying these for the house, but I could not resist them. So I think I'm gonna donate four of my black and white bowls and then keep these for myself because aren't these just like the prettiest white bowls? Also, this little side table was such a good find too. And it is like a solid piece of stone, super heavy duty. The top is wood. And then I also found this wall art, which I think I'm actually gonna put this in our bathroom, our guest bathroom, because I have like a, a rug that's that same color that's in there right now. Also, another thing that I was so excited about is this um, Lazy Susan right here. It is totally giving me like William Sonoma vibes with the, the little bees, but it's huge um, and it spins and it's got the scallop edge. I'm a little obsessed with scallop right now. You may have noticed in the last video that we got a new dining table. And that's because our old one just wasn't working out for us. As gorgeous as it was, it just wasn't practical because food would get stuck. The little natural occurring cracks that it had and it was impossible to clean. Uh, we went to Restoration Hardware and they were able to swap it out for us. And this is what we ended up with. Felt like it looked a little bit smaller and it just needed a rug to anchor the whole thing down. So I ended up getting this rug, which turned out to be so perfect. And I feel like it just kind of ties the two rooms in together. Found all of this at the Dollar Tree. I even found some cute little chalk. These, I used to love these when I was a kid. They're the little wind up little chicks that walk. And then I also found this little pack of bubbles, which I thought was so cute. These I found at Home Goods. Um, this is actually for his class party, which I'm helping host. Also gonna include some of these in their Easter basket. And I also keep them to put under his pillow when he loses his teeth. He prefers it over real money. And then over here, everything is from Target. I thought these were really fun to include one in each of their basket. This is from Target. I actually took one out already to put in our little welcome basket at our rental. So I've been looking for really fun games for three and six year olds and I found this one and it looks so fun. And then a lot of you guys on Instagram said it was really fun. Really excited to play this with them. This was like an Easter edition. And then I got these swim trunks for Elliot because he loves Bluey. Also found a couple books. Sebastian loves Pete the Cat, so I got him that. Then I got this one for Elliot. He still loves these kind of like interactive books. So I thought this was really fun and he's gotten really good at like memorizing books. It's pretty incredible. So it's really cute. I thought this would be a fun one for that. Lint chocolate bunnies are each gonna get one of these. And over here, these are a couple things that I found at Home Goods as well. I found this little stamper. It's to like stamp your Play-Doh. So I thought this would be a lot of fun to include with the Play-Doh um, three pack right here. I have a, um, a pink music box that my mother-in-law gave me and Sebastian loves playing with it. Like he just loves the little music and I wanted to find him something that he could enjoy and keep in his room. So I found this little music box right here and you guys, let me turn it on for you. Put the little train right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and assemble their baskets right now and I'm so excited. <laughs> Oh, 
But by the time I was done with the Easter baskets, I did not have time to go back out and run to Home Goods because Sebastian was about to be off from school. And I actually wanted to surprise him with like a really fun after school treat. And I thought I would just share it with you guys on here. But I saw this idea on Pinterest where you take a little thing of cinnamon rolls and you kind of turn it into little bunnies. It's super easy. It doesn't require any additional tools or anything like that. And they turned out so stinking cute. And then I also set up like a little decorating station for him. And I'm definitely going to be doing them again for Easter morning. They were such a hit with the boys. So I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. And if you guys want to check out my makeup brushes and take advantage of that 30% off, definitely check it out. I'm going to have a link down below for you guys. And until next time, bye. Mommy, look, I made the little smiley. It's so cute.